Sky High. Sky High. Sky High. Shout out to No, this Sky is High. this is really serious, y'all. This, this is real serious. serious. This is this is going on his album. Tell us this message. <laughs> Look in my eyes! Anyways, that's as far as I've gotten so far. <laughs> it's uh, it's coming out on the album January first. That shit's hot. That shit was fire. Thanks. Man, can you do it? Can you do it one more time? That's can you do it one more that's time? Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe maybe during commercial break. I don't know if I can do it on air again. Man, that shit was tight. I mean, we got listeners from where? Where'd you say Canada? Shout out to Canada, Casper, so, Wyoming. Canada. Las Vegas. I was watching uh, Jersey Shore and saw some hot Canadians. Shout out to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't think that there is an ugly chick in Canada. Yeah, like, I don't think, I don't think it exists. Happens. I don't think it exists. You got no. Trish Stratus, who's from Canada. Oh, Pamela Anderson from Canada. Oh, Carmen Electra, I think, might be Canadian, you were too. Good. You were good at Trish Stratus. That's Trish Stratus is so <laughs> fucking sexy, oh, dude. Oh, fucking gosh. That is my bitch. You know Justin like, Bieber's from Canada? No, I'm just kidding. Well, sorry. Hey, Justin goes hard. I fucks with Bieber. Nah. I fucks with Bieber. Bieber. Nah, Bieber right. can go back. Hey, I'm a believer. But, uh, After last night, I think we're all blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin Bro. goes hard. You gotta give Bieber his props. The kid, the kid does his thing. He's dope. He's dope. Yeah. You know, back on that Canadian girl thing, uh, I got a story actually. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, what do you got? See, I used to be good, good friends with this guy who lived up in Canada, and I played a lot of video games with him all the time. And uh, we were talking one day. He would, you know, his friend came. He was in the emergency room for a couple weeks and nobody ever knew what for, didn't know why. We got out and he explained the situation to my friend. He was like as simple, it goes like this. On my birthday, I thought I was getting lucky with my girlfriend and her friend. Turns out, they drugged me. I woke up, I saw her having a knife, she cut my dick off and now I got a fake dick. Get the fuck out of here. Dead serious. <laughs> True story. True story. I talked talk to the guy the on webcon and everything. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? It's, oh, it, I swear. Jesus True story. No way. The they're crazy. Some, they're, they're, they, when they look that good and they're that good, they got to be catch. Man. Holy shit. That's oh my scary gosh. shit. Well, they, they go, they, they're, they, they bang down there. I got an idea. That's real hot. Shout out to all of our groupies. I've got oh. an idea for Whoa. it. Whoa. Let's hear it. Whoa. What? We need to get that? Skylo to, to, <laughs> to go after and try to convert Stephani to his oh. religion. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing. That would be the ultimate battle right there. <laughs> We'd have to YouTube that shit. Did you hear titties? <laughs> I heard titties. Titties. They heard titties. I said titties. I, I nah. titties. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. We said, we you said plenty, right? said victory. Oh, victory. victory. We're victory. talking about what songs we might oh, do. Oh, man. Victory. I, was, I heard titties. No. Victories. I was excited. We <laughs> said we should perform <laughs> victories in Wichita about, Titty. I mean, but we oh, were talking about Wichita. And titties and... Yeah, I was getting excited. <laughs> we said we're the best in the city. Ah, yeah, uh, uh, I yeah. got you. <laughs> But titties. still, Trish Stratus and titties does sound good. <laughs> Man, that that, is, that, that, that's, that's that's big time. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Man, that fucking uh, one tick. Uh, um, yeah. That was with the little Hardy dude. Uh, Lita. Oh, Lita. Lita. She's Lita. from Canada she too. Was, she now she's a super duper white like her. Yeah. Barna, bro. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Was she was tanned up. and dark. And she had a she had a she punk broke metal band for a yeah, little bit. Yeah. I don't know if they're still well, going. See, I thought I thought like Jeff were mad like Lita and too. the Luchador Luchadors. Luchadors. Or Luchadors. Mm -hmm. or whatever. They played Lizard Lounge like freaking. 20 years ago. Yeah, who's, the, who's, the, who's the one who always wore a skirt? I'm trying to think of her name. Sable? Mickey James. Yo, oh, she Mickey was fucking James? bad. Yeah, Mickey James is bad. Oh, yeah. my God. She's fucking bad. I wish she did porn. You remember Sable? <laughs> I wish she did. Oh, Sable. <laughs> Sable was fine Old as Sable. fuck. Old Sable's oh. married to Brock Lester now. Get what? the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she shot two of his kids. You're lying. Two? <laughs> Look it up. Because that, 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 uh... What was that? There was uh, UFC after he won the. I don't know if he beat Frank Mir or if he won the title from Couture. But after he, she walked him to the ring, and after it was all over with, he's like, "Well, now that I won, I'm gonna go get on my wife." 
<laughs> oh man, he's in there crushing her ass. Oh, <laughs> they live on some little farm in Minnesota. What? The farm? That's where he's from. Yeah, he's from Minnesota. <laughs> and what's what's great is I as a. Uh, you know, she used to be married to Mark Marrow. Yeah, and then Johnny he killed Bad. himself. Yeah, and 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 everybody's like, man, I bet those child, I bet, I bet when they drop the kid off over there, I bet those child exchanges. Are oh not fun my gosh, that shit would be crazy. Mark Marrow was a nut. Johnny B. Bad. <laughs> Your girl's got a nut, and then he Whoa. killed himself. Johnny B. Bad. What'd you say? You don't remember Johnny B. Bad? Johnny B. Bad. You don't remember him? He had the feather boas. Mark oh, Merrill. oh he yeah. Say, oh, hush. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hush. <laughs> oh, hush. He looked like Little Richard, the small <laughs> he version. He looked like Little Richard. He yeah. had that little gun that Hell he'd shoot yeah. things out Hell from. Yeah, he ended up committing suicide. Yeah, he was. Jake, you know, whatever happened to Wicked Ways? <laughs> well, <laughs> one, of them, one of them got shot by uh, the other one. Right. And the, what is it? Devil, Devil. Devil Boy? boy? I remember Wicked and Ways. He had, oh uh, shit! What he's in ever the Shawnee happened to Correctional Wicked Prison? Ways? Yeah, uh, Devil Boy shot. Uh, creepy. Creepy face. I heard about that. That was real. This is a true story. Killed him. Uh, they had had. A, I heard about that. This is the craziest real, thing man. because I bumped into oh, Devil Boy oh, at the oh, last oh, Haystack oh, show in Wichita, and he was on it. And he said something about. He goes, "Well, you know," he said. um... He said, uh, I said, are you still having a problem with creepy? He's like, yeah, but we're going to take care of that. And then two days later, Blake Atterbury, who's with Asylum Inmates, gets a hold of me, and he's like, dude, Devil Boy just shot creepy. And then I see all this crap all over Facebook. I remember I see seeing that, but I thought it was just a what ended up happening was he uh, basically, they pulled up uh, to each other at, the, at a stoplight. They were each going opposite directions. And Devil Boy tried taking out Creepy, but they got the hell out of there. And then I guess uh, Creepy had to go to like court or something a couple days later. And yeah. as he comes down the steps of the courthouse, they were there, and boom, boom, boom. And then just got in the car and drove away. And I one of their guys, and hey, Creepy, Creepy Face was dating Devil Boy's uh, sis, or yeah. sister. Sister, yeah. they're married. Yeah. They had a little and, fan base built and up, fucking, too. Yeah, they were um, on the they rise. Buzzing. One of the guys that was the driver of the car, They're on half these he ran cars. Wichita, and he hung out in Wichita for like three months, and they finally said, you got to turn yourself in. you got to be running for Forever. the rest of your life. Forever. And so he turned himself in, and he, he's got, like I think, like a year or two of jail, but Devil Boy's just gone. He's going to be gone. So he didn't die, though. No, creep, creep, well, he's, he's dead. dead. He, creep, he's he killed him? Yeah, mm -hmm. he killed him. What oh, the what fuck? You said they're on the high And they had just gotten, this is what's funny, they had just gotten a sponsorship deal with the face, images. with the blacklight face paint guy yeah. in Wichita. So he really did die? Yeah. I thought that was all fucking hoax, man. That's crazy as fuck. They pulled right up to him and boom, 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 and then... That's fucking crazy. And they were getting, it's and, and uh, what's great is a couple days before the Haystack show, uh, cre uh, not creepy, but Devil Boy had played Gathering of the Juggalos. Wow. And he had he kept telling everybody, Gather Juggalos, I got this video. And it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There's like five people there on wow. this video. And he's out there just going along. Wow. <laughs> it's wow. like, really? Wasn't that that Matt dude that was with him? Yeah, yep. yeah, he did the shooting or whatever. He tried to run it. Yeah, that was because, in Salina, wasn't it? Uh, actually, it was up in uh, Shawnee. It was there Shawnee. There. Yeah, because I remember that Matt dude like shot one of them fools, and that shit's crazy. Because they were starting to build a fan yeah. base. Oh yeah, yeah, they were buzzing. They, they were had, buzzing. they had a a really good deal going, and then never heard none of this shit, but I knew they were every damn. One of them decided that it was just on, and they had a really cool gimmick. They had the black light face paint and the cool little black lights, and they had been how they got their sponsorship deal is they they kept spending a shit ton of money on the face paint, and they the only guy that made it was a dude in Wichita, and he kept getting all these orders, and he was getting like five hundred dollar orders every month from somewhere in, in Shawnee. And, fine, and they had done a couple video interviews with me, and they'd shouted the guy out and, and all this stuff. Well, then, 
someone had seen that and sent it to him. So he got a hold of him and he's like, you're the guys that spend 500 bucks every month. He's like, what are you doing? He goes, I'll just sponsor you. I'll just give you some t-shirts. You just promote me at your shows like you're already doing and I'll just give you some stuff. And then like two months later, bam. Kill each other. They fucking oh, shot, <laughs> shot up each other. What the fuck? Yeah, I remember, I remember they were. Well, that's another thing. The funeral. At the funeral, fucking de- a bunch of Devil Boy guys showed up and were like pissed off and were trying to get all. And it's like, what are you doing? It's a funeral. A funeral? <laughs> they had to call the cops. <laughs> and have these guys drug the fuck out of there. Are you fucking serious? And it's like, really? At a goddamn funeral. What the fuck? You're uh, you're coming and like protesting this guy that you guys basically your guy shot. I remember hearing about them fools all over the place. That's that's. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it might. <laughs> Keyboy and Bella think they got What's problems. <laughs> Jesus. What's up with sick and twisted? Are they still doing their thing? I think they're still doing their thing. They're just quiet. Yeah, they don't, I don't think they be doing too Cause much. Because they had the little, the little Pachuca chick with them when they first started, because there was three of yeah, them. Yeah, there was three of them. And then... They kicked her out. She something. went out and... She did her own thing. Yeah, they kind of got, got rid of her, and she did her own thing, and then she ended up going off to becoming a mom, and she doesn't really do too much anymore, and then the two of them are still doing their thing. They just don't... That one dude, the little, the little small one, he was an awkward motherfucker. That fool was always waxing his eyebrows and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. You remember that day we went over there? That, that shit was weird. That shit was weird. Well, and then there's yeah. S.A. Crunk. Yeah, they which, still doing that. Thing. Those guys are, those, those guys are fucking crazy. They gotta get rid of fucking Steve White, the little manager dude. Yeah. He is not that manager dude. He is, he's not. They had. Uh, I remember. Oh, there's yeah. a. I don't, I don't know if Ross. I don't, I don't know if Ross has still got it up, but S. A. Crunk and Sick and Twisted were having a feud for a little bit. What? And after <laughs> this was back in the old Blue Goat days. What? And after one of the uh, one of the concerts, we were little pit bull from S. A. Crunk was like, "We got to do an interview. We got to do an interview." So he grabs me and Ross and takes us out back, and all the S. A. Crunk fans and everybody's out there just hyping and having a good time. And I'm doing this interview with them, well then all of a sudden somebody brings up Sick and Twisted. And all of a sudden they all go nuts. And it's like, it was like a scene from Planet of the Apes. They're all just fucking crazy. And (laughs) then all of a sudden Pitbull comes up, gets in the camera, and he's like, Little Pachuca, we fucked that bitch! And I'm like, oh my god. What the hell? (laughs) It was just like, what the hell is going on here? But yeah, you're right. People are getting the hell out of Salida because they're fucking doing all sorts of crazy shit up there. I mean, Kansas said it's just fucking out of control up there. Because he's down here now. Kansas boy. Yeah. He said it's out of control up there. Well, and what's what's great is a bunch of the rappers were like, screw that, I'm moving. And then there's guys like Cash that are like, I'm going to get the hell away from all the hip-hop guys. I'm doing yeah, something else. Yeah, he's doing gospel rap. Man. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I don't want to have anything to do with you guys. Yeah, he's doing gospel music. So, uh... Dude, I saw that Trill Trill dude dissing the shit out of Cash. Oh, Trill oh, Trill. Oh, <laughs> I did a... Shit. We did a thing with him a couple years ago. He, he got a hold of me and he's like, I got to come up to Hutch and do a show. He goes, I'm going to be bigger than Keyboy. I'm going to be bigger than all of them. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, supposedly he had got signed. He always says that. And he's had those and same he, papers in his hand for like and five he, years. And what's great is that he was well, sitting up there. And, and when we did the interview, I had uh, Sense and B-Ray sitting there. Uh, and after it was all over with, Trill's like, yeah, you go hear about me, dog. I'm going to be the biggest thing since sliced bread, dog, and all this. So he leaves. And Sense looks at me and he goes, no, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> and Sense, Sense and B-Ray were like, you know what What he was talking about was there's this company. And what they do is they go around the internet and they find people that are actively putting out music. And if they're putting out music like he does where he puts out a new song every day. Mm-hmm. 
And what they do is they tell them, hey, you know, we'll sign you up. And it's they send you this deal, and they have you. They, they say, well, you, you got to cover your plane ticket, but you fly out to L.A. That's close to And we'll put you up in a hotel, and then they sign, and then they just disappear. And they just let you do your thing. Well, then it, if you get a deal sometime, then they, then they pop plan. back up, and they go, oh, hey. You signed us. Uh, you signed a little piece of paper about 10 yeah, years ago. That's that coast We interrupt this station. feature program to inform you that Meaningful Music will be leaving the building at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Well, Please enjoy the next 25 minutes that you have with the clan <laughs> before they go to King Walk to King visit Walk. with their sponsors. I love King Walk. We thank you for tuning into the KJAG Radio Experience. <laughs> I love the fact that when King Walk was, when they were getting ready to go out of business, everybody got on their Facebook page and they're like, oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. And then they posted on there, okay, be back tomorrow. <laughs> They've been open ever since. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest thing. So, so what do we? Uh, what What's the next tune that we got from you guys? Um, actually, well, I was just feeling it when I was sitting over here. But uh, if if it's cool, we, we can do a couple. We can do a couple more. Um, I definitely uh, this this is probably one of my favorite songs, and honestly, like.